Hey everybody, I'm Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin. Y'all come on into my Tater Buggin studio and let's um, play with some cool rice paper today. How does that sound? I'm gonna wait for my friends to get here. If you're watching on replay, comment hashtag replay so I know you were here. I don't always get to respond to all the um, comments because for one reason, Facebook doesn't like us to do a lot of that, but um, anyway, uh, I try to hit the, all the questions, and I, I always read them, so, hey, Patty, Susan, Rose, you're at Rose, I've got a picture to share for you tonight, hey, Teresa, hey, Opa, how's everybody doing, hi, Patty and Jill, thank you, oh, that reminded me, uh, let me put your link down here for you like I'm supposed to do and your code and we'll pin it. Hey, Marjorie. Hi, I miss one. Becky and Elizabeth, Sonia, Jane. Okay, let's see. Did my, there it goes. Okay, let me pin that. And we're, I think, did that work? Did I pin it? There we go. Okay, got it. This is my work there. Hey, Diana and Deb, Judy, Sherry, Jermaine. Hey, Linda, Sue, Debbie. We had... Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Patty. I am so, so sorry. That hurts so bad. Tanya's here from Hummingbird Painery. I just finished watching her make the cutest little flower arrangement and she made this little puppy dog out of solo wood flowers to put in it was so cute I just thought that was so clever Tanya so if y'all don't follow her you need to give her a follow hummingbird painery Kristen hi hey Tony oh you're so sweet thank you hey Carol hey Laura thanks for tossing the taters Susan Marjorie tossing them too hi Patty and Carol Jennifer, Janet, Denise, Judy, Zeppa, thank you for those stars. Hi, Jennifer. Thank you. I love, I love teal. I just love that color. Thank you. Oh, is it Tanya? I'm sorry. Yeah, we're so close. Who knows? Mine, mine will do that to me, you know. Hi, Patricia. Thank you. Hi, Susan. We are having, um, Benita's in my house. Hey, Benita. Hey, Patricia. Uh, Joanne, it's from Belle Lily, and I, I dropped, I've got a, a pinned comment to, for a link to this shirt. Hey, Yvonne. There's my friend Yvonne from Southern Designs and Finds. How is Mr. Wonderful doing today? Hey, Cindy. There's my, my sweet Cindy Kane. Hey, Susan and Brenda, LaDonna. If you're watching on replay, you can fast forward through all of this. Hey, Lee. There's Lee. Hey. Oh, my goodness. I've, I'm way far behind. Oh, and Manny's here. Hola, Manny. I'm a, I'm a new fan. I've found Manny through um, Tanya, Manny's Paper Fun. And, uh, oh, I just enjoy him so much. I enjoy his work. Oh, thank you, Manny. That's a replica of the car I drive, complete with eyelashes. Mr. Taterbug had made that for me several years ago. Hey, Charlotte. He's grouchy. I would be, too, if I went through that, I think. <laughs> thank you for those stars, Judy. Oh, and Tony. That's so sweet. Hi, Jean. Oh, thank you, Jean. We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun Friday afternoon and evening. Okay, I, I best get started. Uh, first of all, Minnesota. Look at this beautiful mug with the northern lights and a moose. That came, now I've got my list, got my list, because I can't keep it all straight in, in my, my brain's like a sieve. Um, Nancy Mahady, I hope I'm not mispronouncing your last name. Thank you, thank you for that. And got Louisiana, but it's a mystery. I don't know where, who Louisiana came from because um, there was no 
tag or anything in it. So let me know if you sent the Louisiana, Louisiana mug. I want to be sure to thank you. And y'all, would you look at how full my map is from my mugs? Tomorrow, Mr. Tater, Mr. T is going to be making me another set of shelves to go right over here on this side. So we'll have them all on display, maybe even by Tuesday, surely by Thursday. Hey, Cecile. Oh, you got a star party going. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So if you watched uh, me and Elizabeth on Friday, you saw that it, while we were live, I got my order from Kathy over at Digital Deco Designs. Um, and I need to drop her link. I, I sent it in the text. Um, so, um, Cindy, my link lady, <laughs> my sweet friend and link lady, um, it's in my link tree. I meant to tell you, I should have grabbed it myself. Oh, Joanne, I'm sorry. And this is a really comfortable shirt. But anyway, I know Cindy will probably drop my, it is an affiliate link. She's, I get to work with Kathy and, and her papers, her rice papers are so beautiful. These are just some of the ones that I got. Um, look at these beautiful rice papers. And I used one, part of one, with Elizabeth on our birdhouses Friday. You, hey, Celeste, thank, and Karen, thank y'all so much uh, for the stars. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you, Cindy. Johnny on the spot, I'm telling you. Uh, no, I don't think you can, Jennifer. I had to, um, I ordered through Kathy, and I'll tell you what I did. I ordered some of her prints, but I also ordered a pack of her um, blank rice paper so that I can print my own. I can do some of my paintings onto rice paper and use them to decoupage. And it printed great. Need something to... Do. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, there's a, anything. I'm about ready to, to deco everything up. But for today, we're keeping it small. I just, I went over into my stash and this is one of those bamboo Dollar Tree cutting boards. So I'm gonna start with this. And I've got my plaster chalk paint. We're gonna hit this with some chalk paint. Then I'm gonna, I've got a table full of stuff. And when I started kind of designing this one, um, this, what I'm gonna do today, it blossomed and I'm gonna do it on a large scale. Hopefully this week I have prepped a piece. Um, it's just an old piece that a friend of mine gave me years ago. There were a, like a set of three. She got from her church um, rummage sale and she knew that I like to uh, redo surfaces. You know, I, I would take thrift store pieces and re redo them, paint on them and everything. And um, so I have already done the other two, but I pulled the third one out of the um, shed where we keep a lot of our big pieces, windows and stuff that I'm gonna eventually paint on and storage. And um, I pulled it back out and I gave it a coat of white chalk paint. I took a picture of the before so I can show y'all what it actually looked like to begin with. It was just a little outdated, but the shape is so cool. So I decided I was gonna do something similar, but on a larger scale on that piece. So I'll share that with y'all if you hang around till the end. Um, so yeah, just wanted to hit this. I, at first, I've, I've been working on this, prepping for this all afternoon. There's a lot of little tedious steps that Y'all don't have to sit around and watch me cut. So, um, I did a lot of prep work, but I also did a lot of design work. You know how I'll go on Pinterest and get an inspiration piece. What? <laughs> I'm live. Hello. <laughs> That's Chris. Bless.
playing with Sarge. He's been out there cleaning up his Jeep with uh, Kayla. Kayla's here too. Is Kayla still here? Yeah. Y'all ought to come in and say hello. Yeah. <laughs> if they're, I don't think they're prepared. They've been out front been cleaning cars, washing cars. Yes, the doors are, we've got all our doors open. It's such a, this is, today's a gorgeous day. If I wasn't going live today, I think I would have put the top down on Taterbug and just rode until I didn't want to ride anymore. Yeah, these designs are specifically from Digital Deco Designs. Kathy designs these papers herself. So, um, it, Yvonne's here from Southern Designs and Finds, and um, she even collaborated with Kathy to do a page in honor of her son that she lost. And um, so it's named Matthew after Yvonne's sweet son. So, oh, that's okay, Elizabeth. That's all right. I'm just glad you're here. She's been outside working on projects today too, I believe. And I think Lee got in a little retail therapy before her surgery tomorrow, so. I, I just want to, like I started to say, I could have left this, just the wood, and let the wood show. But as I started to design, um, I, I, I think I really want it to be covered. I think it's going to fit better with what I want to do here. Um, yeah, Elizabeth from um, Ellie's Attic. Okay. So, the piece that I used on Elizabeth's birdhouse she brought to my house Friday that we did, that's the piece of Kathy's paper I'm going to use today. I don't want to... Um, I don't want to uh, waste a lot of these beautiful papers. I want to use every piece of them. Birdhouse condo's almost done. Wow. Oh, it, it's going to be so special, Yvonne, when it when it comes to you. It's, and that piece, I'm sure, has to be just perfect for you. Um, okay. Let me show you what I've decided to do. I'm not showing you my inspiration picture from Pinterest yet because I want to do mine first and then I'll show you what was my jumping off point. So this is the piece that went on the front of um, Elizabeth's birdhouse. But this one has so many different elements. You know, you've got a little of the Mackenzie childlike um, checks, squares, whatever you want to call them. There's purples, there's floral. This fit the vibe of where I wanted to go with this piece. So all I did, <laughs> like gonna laugh, is I went to, into my new shower floor. <laughs> we had it redone and tile these little bitty tiles in the, is that the um, hexagon shape? Is that right? I don't know. Um, so I had just taken my sheet of, printer paper, laid it down on the floor, traced out my little tile. So I thought that would be better than me trying to draw it out. And then I made a template with a scrap piece of cardboard paper. Put all that paper. You know I can't talk when I'm live. And um, I'm gonna take this little piece right here. I, as you can see, I've been doing some and I would pick and choose, like I'd pick a flower or I'd pick like the black and white check. I love the black and gold with the gold polka dots. Okay, so I'm gonna get this purple. The toad abode, I'm still waiting for somebody to move into my toad abode. I look and look, but I, I don't know if it's been a little chilly lately uh, at night here, but um, no, no new toads yet. But what we do have are baby bluebirds. They have hatched. We've got the bluebird house right there on our fence. I get to watch them 
come and go. I gave him some more mealworms today because sometimes Fat Robin comes and won't let him get any. <sighs> fat Robin, and he is a Fat Robin, and he's a mean. So I just, and listen, I am saving every little piece of that paper because y'all know I love to do mixed media, and I'll use it in my, um, in my, um, what am I trying to say, art journaling and everything. So did my, yeah, Bluebird Babies. So here's what I'm doing. I've got my, I haven't redone my little silver tray. I got a Goodwill yet, so I put all my little pieces here. I also got out, I, <laughs> I don't know if Kathy's here or not, just probably never seen anybody do anything like this with her papers before, but that's, you know, I hope she'll be happy. I hope she'll be proud of it. I also pulled two of my old books. Um, this one's a hymnal, because I wanted some music, and I know I'm excited, and I looked it up, and how many broods they could have in a season, um, and they can have one or two, but some maybe even three or four, because it seemed later in the, there goes daddy getting them some worms, um, it was later in the season that, that they were in our, um, bluebird house yesterday. This one is an old universal standard encyclopedia. I think it's L and M. <laughs> I just have one. So I chose this because of the color of the pages. I wanted some typography in this piece too. So think about, you know, when you're decoupaging and you've got these great rice papers, you can also use these other papers to go with it. I have I have done a lot of bluebirds, Vanita. I have bluebirds. In fact, there's a um, a little bluebird woodblock print in our online shop. It's on a hymnal page. Nose has got to start running, not running, it's itching. So, for instance, this is from the encyclopedia page, and I just hit the edges with. my distress oxide pad ink pad this is in vintage photo because i like that color it goes with it thank you libby i've got you a link to it so we're just going to start placing it's going to take me a minute it's a hot minute to i don't know why that doesn't look like that fits right and i'm trying to decide hope y'all can see I also tore out strips of music from the hymnal. I only used one page today. I might, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put that up there. But you know what, I'm looking at this. Let me do this first. I do too, Tanya. Hey, Sherry. So this is my Waverly Antique Wax. I still have not been to Home Depot to get the the bare dark wax yet. Where am I? Oh, Lindy, this table. Did I put my baby wipes back up from Friday? I did. Yeah, there's the birds are happy today, and so am I. The weather's so great. Hey, Carrie. That's a little too stark white for what I want to do. I want this, I want the vintage feel for this piece. Let's just see what this does. Oh, that's kind of cool. See what we could just to knock that bright background down a little bit. And I have I had to go to Michael's today because I'm playing with a new medium. Like I said in my um post earlier. That's pretty. Um, I'm going to try a new medium today. Elizabeth from Ellie's Attic told me about this stuff and um, when I was trying to decide what I was going to use on this at a certain spot, that's what came to mind. All right, should I, let me hit this. 
just a little bit more with the heat. I've got a lot of elements to this. True mixed media piece. Y'all know I get excited about mixed media, so. <laughs> That's the way to go, Tanya. Use that, um, mm -hmm, yes. Use that, uh, those baby wipes with that um, wax because it sure does stain your fingers and it still will get on your fingers through the baby wipe, but it's not as bad. Yes, you were, Lee. You sure were. We were at different Michaels at almost the same time. Um, so, I'll show you what I'm going to... Y'all probably, probably know about it. It's similar to something we used to use. Okay. All right. So, I want to take pieces. I don't want to completely cover this background. I want it peeking through, and I'm just trying to decide in my head um, where the elements need to be placed, and we're just going to get going, and I'm going to get my Mod Podge. I put some in this old Anita's uh, acrylic paint bottle, but it's Mod Podge. You hadn't been yet, Tanya. You need to go use that. Hey, hey, Zine. How are you? Okay. I'm just pondering here in my head because I wasn't quite sure how to go about all this. But I think Cindy, Cindy's got it. Cindy's got it. I'm not going to even say a word. I'm glad you did too, Lori. Hey. And hi, Cindy, from Texas. Y'all, excuse me. I'll get on the table so I can open it. Hey, Robin. Thank you, Cindy. I knew. I didn't even have to say a word. All right. Get a little Mod Podge down here on this at the top. Kind of along here. Now, this is just going to be one of those pieces where it's meant to get your creative juices going on how... You might want to do this if you want to do this. I just love mixed media. And we're just going to put that piece down and we're going to go down here and kind of mimic that, I think, down here. Again, I kind of moved all the pieces around a lot this afternoon as I was, uh, you know, just kind of trying to design. And look at there, it broke apart. So that's. That'll be fine. That's kind of cool. So we've got, we've, this is where we are so far. We're just going to start doing, having some fun. It, yeah, anything goes in mixed media, and you just get to um, design your way through a piece little by little. I love that. Okay, now I've got my little tray of pieces I've cut from my uh, digital, my uh rice paper from Digital Deco Designs plus a couple of, you know, little both music and um, encyclopedia page. I wanted to break it up. I wanted bright colors and then I wanted the vintage look tucked in there, here and there. So I'm just going to kind of pull all these out. Because of the page I chose, that Kathy designed, it had so many different elements. We're getting a lot of different ones in um, that one sheet of paper that she did. Purples and florals and polka dots and gold handwriting and uh, I just love it. Thank you, Tanya. I, d I love to do it. I don't, you know, I'm not going to claim I'm good at it, but I sure do have fun with it. And even if, you know, like this one, I chose to get the green from the section of that page paper that's uh, leaves so throw some of that in there yes just just get creative lose yourself in a whole um in a whole piece you know and and like this afternoon that's kind of what I did I was just sitting here cutting and laying out and thinking you know oh and it's changed so many times and now it it'll it'll be similar to my inspiration piece but um very different, very, very different. So I'm just gonna 
I'm gonna start playing with this. And the reason, I, this is the definition of lily from the encyclopedia page because I started with the old picture of a lily and this was the definition. So I just wanted to kind of keep it a little cohesive if, if anybody um, looks closely at it. Sarah, you did! Oh, I should have known. I should have known that was my Sarah that sent that to Louisiana. I'm writing your name down. Thank you so very much. I love it. I love it. And as I get a few of these down, I'm going to pick it up and show you. I'm not going to get all fidgety with um, the spaces in the middle, and you'll find out why. I mostly just want to get these pretty papers around. Now, see, I, if I was using tissue paper with the Mod Podge on here, I couldn't do this. It's because I'm using the rice paper that I can kind of manipulate this around and get it where I want it to go because it's a lot, it won't bubble up on you and all that. Hey, Deborah. Let me move this in case y'all can't see. Okay, I'm just kind of laying it out. Ooh, see, you couldn't do that with a napkin. I'm gonna go this way here. And let's, let's do a little pink. Again, I'm gonna try really hard not to overthink this part and just kind of let it happen. Um, Melissa, I'm glad you're here. I just cut my own template from one of my tiles in my shower floor, hexagon, and then a piece of cardboard and then started just cutting everything out. And that's the part I didn't want y'all to have to sit and watch me cut out all these little pieces because you know how to make a template and you know how to cut out pieces. So we're going to put... And I would have gone on and had the board prepped, but I wanted to show you it was a, just one of those Dollar Tree bamboo cutting boards. Little music right there. And I'm going to go in this direction. Here. So again, I just, and my, my thoughts were to get the little vintage pieces mixed in with that cool new mixed, uh, well, the mixed media almost design. It, her design really has that feel because it has so many different elements in it, in this one page. Hey, Emma, how are you doing? <laughs> A hand cramp, yeah from cutting out all of these little bitty pieces. It didn't take long, it really was not that bad. Um, and what I've been trying, when I was laying them out, what I was found myself trying to do is not put these, the papers, the um, music sheets and uh, stuff side by side. I wanted to keep these cool rice paper elements in between them. See, that one looks totally different than the florals. It's got what looks like um, gold handwriting on that pretty purple. It does, doesn't it, Judy? Thank you, Melissa. Hey, Lindy. Is it as beautiful as Pickwick today as it is here? Oh, thank you, Bev. I've been excited about this one. I took yesterday off I just realized it, it was one of those times where you realize, oh, wow, I'm really tired. I think I better slow down for one day and uh, catch my breath so I can hit the ground running today for y'all. And so while I was just relaxing yesterday, I came across this piece that inspired me on Pinterest. I was on Pinterest to look for, I think I was looking at like art journaling ideas for our group. And I saw this and I kept staring at it and I thought I can I can do something like this in so many different ways 
Um, and I and I got so excited, I thought, I've got to try. And then I thought, well, maybe y'all would be interested in doing this with me. And then I thought, ooh, I can use Kathy's papers. And it just kind of snowballed like that. So that now today, as I was doing it, as I was designing, I pulled out my other bigger piece. I pondered doing that for y'all live today, but there's no way I can finish it in an hour. It's going to be one of those I really have to think through. A paper punch for scrapping. Oh, that's a good question, Elizabeth. You've worked with, um, you've worked with the rice paper a lot longer than I have. Could, would it work with a, um, paper punch? I would think it would. It feels like it would. It's got fibers in it, though. Uh, that's the only reason I would question how, how it is. But, uh, let's see. That's going to be all right. That's okay. There is my sister in love, Moidle. Hey, Moidle, did y'all watch Moidle last night at 7, September morn? Moidle's magic. Oh, I want a centerpiece like that. It doesn't even have, I just, just one somewhere in my house. I love those plants. I love that moss. Oh my goodness. You blew me away with that one. I'm not kidding, sister. And then she posted the picture this morning of the whole uh, centerpiece all put together. Oh, it's so gorgeous. If y'all missed it, go back and watch it. If you don't follow her, you need to. She comes up with the coolest things, and she keeps outdoing herself. Every time I think, oh, well, that was my favorite. No, she does one better. Okay. And we're just, I, I really want this to not be fussy, so I'm, I'm trying not to overthink it like I could do with this. But, let's see, I would probably not put those two papers side by side, but that's okay. So, I want to show you where we're going with this. This is, oh, I love it. When I hold it up like that, you get a whole different view. Oh, yeah, with the sheep. Yeah, the sheep in them. Oh, okay, Cecile, I understand. Okay, so I want to go over the top of this with some Mod Podge just to kind of seal it. We got a lot more we, we're going to do with it, but you know what? Before I do that part, I started going through my all my stuff, my stash. Thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> Do y'all remember these transfers from uh, Dollar Tree? I bought a couple of them, and I've been through. This is my second sheet. I've used these on lots of different crafts. I was looking at it today to see what I might want to use on it, and lo and behold, right there is a bee, a real vintagey looking bee. So I'm going to try that on here. There are a lot of elements on this little sheet that I could use, but when I saw that B, I thought, oh, that's it. That's what I'm going to do. And we may do, you know, more than one. I just want to start with this one and see how it does. Uh, the It's from Digital Deco Designs. Sweet, sweet lady. Wonderful to work with. And um, I got my first order Friday while I was live. I'm putting that right there. Let me get a little, a little Mod Podge scraper. down there and if it doesn't come out perfect I don't care because it's supposed to look kind of vintagey lost all my fingernails it makes makes it hard sometimes I use my fingernails need my fingernails come on there we go Oh, good. So it did a little notch came out of it. Can you see it over there? I like that. Oh, he said that. I'm glad. 
Here's loving it. Cindy, thank you so much. I got excited about this. Um, but I could, oh gosh, there's so much. But I'm going to, let's set that aside. So I got a lot of different ideas. I even thought about using a piece of my B napkin, you know, that I had to put on the background. That's another option. If you've got a pretty napkin and then do the rice paper cuts um, on top of that. Okay, so now let me just go over this a little bit with the Mod Podge. Seal it down a little bit more. I doubt this step is absolutely necessary, but I'd do it anyway. Okay, while that's kind of solidifying, drying, it does, it just does, doesn't it? Um, it looks like a, it could be a quilt. We're going to take it a different direction, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, set it aside for Penny. I don't get to set aside a whole lot. I'm setting that aside for Penny, and I'm going to get out these two pieces. Now, I didn't want these to stick out as far as cardboard, but it would have been fine. I just knew I had a scrap of this scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby that looks like corrugated cardboard. So I'll cut this little piece and I cut a little oval. I'm gonna get out my Micron pens. You can use any, anything you've got. Let me see what, how fat. One. All right, I'm just going to go for it here. Is it going to work? I just got these. Come on. Have I tried to write on? Yeah, I just had paint on it. <laughs> and I don't want this writing to be fancy or perfect. I really want it to be loose. Let me see if I can hold this where you can see it. Would you like to say hi? He was on his way out to the storage building. No, out to the shop. Nope, you're going to the shop, huh? Hello, everybody. Who made crab cakes? <laughs> Carrie, were you talking to me, a beautiful tan? Were you talking to me? Because uh, it's out of a bottle. <laughs> too old to tan. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell all I that. tell all my secrets to my friends. Yeah, I don't have hey any Lee, secrets. Hey, how Lee, how are you? Cindy, how are you? Penny Williams, hey there. Did you cut those out by hand? I did. Okay, they ask. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, these little cardboard. It's just scrapbook paper that looks like cardboard. I just cut them out myself. You made my banana cream pie. Yum. I saw a picture. That's oh, good. somebody posted it. was beautiful. Y'all got to try the crab cake. <laughs> Tell them, don't use as much crab as he said to use. Yeah, it's not four pounds. <laughs> no, you said 24, 24 to, 32 to 32 pounds. pounds. Y'all yeah, no. have to go on Deadliest Catch to yeah. get that much. <laughs> You'll be making crab cakes till the uh, end of time. Hey, Amanda. There's Amanda mistake. from Amanda Made. Hey, Amanda. She's going to be on at 7 tonight. Who is Hummingbird Paintery? That's Tanya. We oh, just it watched is. her. Hello, yes. Tanya. Well, I got to go. I got work to do, and Busy. you do too. I do too. All right. 
and I, I'm still gonna decide if I'm gonna use these, but I've got kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul. All right, now I'm going to do this part if I can. Have y'all heard of Stickles? It's over by the Tim Holtz stuff. Um, get right, Penny, yes. Hey, Jody. Um, I am going to try this out. It's glitter glue. Y'all may have glitter glue. It's called Stickles. I needed something that I could control. I'm gonna take you down my path of my brain after I show you what I'm doing with this. Recipe for the skillet one with fresh spinach in it. It's on our page. I posted it last Saturday morning. It's on our page. I've really got to do the next bunch of, um, the next, next batch of his recipes for y'all's cookbook. So they'll be prettier than those that I, that I post. But you are welcome to just download and, and print those out too. Um, I'm going to choose to do, it was between the gold glitter or the diamond glitter. And I'm going to go with the diamond glitter and see how it works. Hey, Marie. Oh, I'm a little freaked. But, you know, with this one, I don't think it has to be so, so perfect because of what I'm doing with it. This is just a, a sheet of paper. I want to, I want to try this first. I wanted something I could kind of control that had a, a small tip like that. Ooh, that, that works good. Okay, let's go for this. Am I gonna need to, I've got contacts in and y'all know the whole story behind that. Where did I get my suntan myrtle? Out of a, bo a bottle. <laughs> I, it's a, um, I get it at Target. It's a um, foam. And honestly, I use it. I don't use it a lot in the winter, but I don't. My skin tone is um, it's not great. And it looks a little bit better with just a little color on it. So even in the winter, like every, sometimes just once a week. I'll just do a quick hit with it, but, uh, you know, as it starts to get warmer, I do it more often. So, thank y'all. I'm going to do a few of these, and then this works beautifully. This is exactly, oh, my word. This is what's going to just make, make it all make sense. And this is what's going to set off Kathy's beautiful papers. Um, and I'm really glad that I used this particular diamond colored one, I think. Um, I'm going to do just a few more and then hold it up before I finish it all. This is, this is why I didn't try to get too crazy about making sure I had the perfect shape um, for these little pieces because I knew this, this part was going to cover up a, a ton of issues. It's like the um, grout between tiles. Stickles is not, but I'm using it like that. Stickles is going to elevate your crafts, I think, in the right, you know, for the right things. And so for a mixed media piece, I thought it was a perfect opportunity to try something that I've never used before. Y'all know I can't just stick with one thing. I'm going to have, y'all will see me doing all kinds of things on here, and some will be massive fails. <laughs> but I'm going to try them with you, and you'll find out what not to do. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what it's likely. But on this one, uh, I used to do those for my boys. Let me take that off so you can actually see. Um, I would do my boys those puff paint little matching clothes we would cut the things out of fabric and put them on the clothes and then go around them with puff paint oh the 90s this is so much easier to work with i don't know i guess they've perfected it and so can you kind of see the ones that i've gone between it's not showing up real great here i i need to finish it all out it just perfectly lines um these little 
um, what do you call them on a beehive? Each little piece. And I think the gold would have been really beautiful too, but I'm really liking the sparkle of uh, this diamond. Sorry y'all, Pete's very dramatic about telling me when he's hot. He's been outside sunbathing. That's your own fault, buddy. This works just like a pen. My goodness, this couldn't be any easier to work with. I think I could just about letter with this. Okay, can y'all see that? I love that. Put gold around the B. Okay, let's see how it looks, yeah. Now where I had done, this was a happy accident. Um, where I had gone around the vintage papers with um, the ink, Look how it turned gold around the edges. So they kind of even have, they even stand out more. That's so fun. Thank you, Glenda. You see it now? It's subtle, but I mean, it's, it's very obvious when you're looking at it in person. Um, but it just, it just finishes it all off and kind of elevates. It really changes the whole look. By the way, those that's there are three in that package, and it's six ninety nine at Michaels. I don't know how much it is at Hobby Lobby. Do it, Barbara. I've still got to go get my um, my bare wax so that I can play with that. Ooh. <gasps> well, now I might be sad I didn't do gold. Where do you see this? You gotta be a little bit more careful with the gold. It shows up more than the diamond. Oh, wow, look at that. Can you see, uh, well, see it around the B? It's hard when my camera's backwards to get y'all just right. Hopefully that's gonna show up a lot better when I take a picture of it. Hey, Sharon. Oh, I bet that was so pretty, Kathy. Um, Patricia, you can get it from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. So I don't, well, do I even want to add these now? I don't even know if I want to add those now. I think, I think. Now, let me show you options. This is where we go wild. So in with my Minnesota mug that Nancy sent me. She had shared this cute little bee. And it's very similar to the ones that I got at Hobby Lobby, but mine had like feather wings. This has these beautiful, um, it's almost like a netting. So I thought, how fun would it be to put this bee right down here? The two above the bee doesn't look like it has the diamond around two above the bee. It does, I didn't, on the edge pieces, I didn't go all the way around. I let it look like it's going off the page. So, um, I did miss this one line here, though, between these two. I just went between the ones that were side by side. Just, you know, one of those artistic preference things. I don't know. But, um, so we could do a B up here. We could do the B. No, I don't want the B down here. I've got another plan. We might do the B. We're going to do the B here. And that's going to finish that off. Now, so let me go on and since I decided to do that, I'm going to heat up the glue gun. Get it going. And you could also, um, Rose sent me a box of goodies with the mug she sent me. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Debbie. They're called stickles. 
And if I keep freezing and uh, put a little stickle on the bee stripes, yeah, yes, I'm going to do it. I'll do that. Um, but she had these great, they were from Dollar Tree, and I put them back in here upside down. But these are stamps. I want to hold it there so you can see it in front of the white. But you could, on your piece, you know, take some of, some stamps that you have and put them in the background with this. Um, I think that would be so fun. But while I was digging and looking through all my goodies, I remember, oh, and also, we might have to use some of these. Um, in the paper studio section of Hobby Lobby are these cute little bee stickers that I thought about using. Uh, thank you, Darlene. I've got you a, um, a link to it. I doubt that, Kathy. Um, Y'all's bees popping up in my feed. Uh, not bees. Bees on the brain. Little ducks that you're painting make me so happy. Thank you, Elizabeth. Yeah, it's got fibers in it. And um, it doesn't bubble up like tissue does. Uh, it's much easier to work with. You can lift it back off. And um, so I just showed you these as an option if you wanted to go more whimsical with your uh, papers that you use and have more whimsical bees. So I pulled those out. And also over near Paper Studio, are these Paper Studio? Yes, they are. I've had these in my stash, some little flowers. If I want to do a 3D, you know, we may still do that. But I remembered a long time ago, Lee, do you remember when we got these? I got letters, stickers at uh, Dollar Tree. And I know they don't fit this theme. But what I thought I would do is put them down and do some gold rub and buff over the top of them. So what do y'all think about that? Thank you, Kathy. I have a lot of fun with it. <laughs> I love mixed media, so I hope y'all do too and you don't get sick of it. Oh, is she here, Elizabeth? I didn't see her. Girl, I hope you don't mind what I did with one of your papers today. Lori, you got here. How about that? You get it, Char. You get it from Digital Deco Designs. Um, Cindy had a link posted. I've got a link in my link tree. So I'm, I'm just going to start putting these down and hope I don't mess up the whole thing with it. And I'm going backwards because I want it to line up here. Oh, I'm going to hold it up here in just a minute. Kathy, I'm going to hold it up for you again. It's got, I put, I've used stickle and I mixed your one sheet, Kathy. Um, you know, I used this sheet you sent me um, on Elizabeth's birdhouse. Well, I kept using it for this. And I took, because it has all different elements in that one paper. And I want to use every bit of it. <laughs> and, um came up with this, so I hope I get your seal of approval on it. Right here. Um, you know, stickers and me, um, it's not my strong suit, but I'm, I'm trying. I, I'm about to do that. I'm about to do that. Let me get my word down, and then I'm going to, um, I'm going to show her what it did. Y'all cross your fingers with me that she likes it. Now, like I said, bear with me. I'm going to do that rub and buff over the top of these to make them gold. But for now, you'll get the idea. It's not going to be straight because it's me, but okay. Mixed media piece. What do you think, Kathy? We've got in between them, and I'm sorry it doesn't show up better on here, but it's 3D stickles in between. It really shows up in person, but anyway, so I used that one beautiful paper of yours and chose the different elements, the different colors um, from that because you had pretty florals, but you had black with polka dot. So I brought in some vintage papers to kind of tie it all together. 
Thank y'all so much. Thank you, thank you. I just wanted, you know, thought, let's do something different, but let's do something that's in my wheelhouse. So it, you know, it, it kind of makes sense, but I just, thank you, Elizabeth. It's just, I, I'm so excited to get these papers and play with them. They're so much fun to work with. Forgot to get my rub and buff out. I'm trying to decide if I should use, I think since I've got this lighter gold up here, I'm gonna go with just the regular gold. Good, Patricia, I hope y'all will try this. Um, it's just fun and it's very freeing to, well, you know, this is kind of good. If I'm going to try not to be too particular, so it kind of looks like honey over the letters. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Elizabeth. This is fun. Um, when I get to do mixed media, I'm in my happy place. That and painting, you know. And with mixed media, it, you can't really go wrong. You're just going with what feels right to you and in all of it, you know, you, you can move it around and put different elements down. And if you don't like a whole layer, go back over it. <laughs> it's just that easy. I like how this gold rub and buff is looking around the letters too. That's kind of fun. I think I'm going to take some of that up here. That's a happy accident. I'm just going to do little bits of gold here and there. And go around. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's fun. Now, now I'm kind of wishing I had done the gold stickle between. I wonder if it would hurt for me to go back over that, uh, the one that I chose. I'm going to try it. Well, you don't know until you try something, right? It's what I tell. They'll ask me something in my um, art journaling group. You know, can I, can I do this? I'll say, I don't know, but you'll find out if you try it. It won't hurt a darn thing. It won't hurt a thing. That's the fun of it. The fun of art. So it's kind of subtle, but it's got the honey on it. So my vision was, you know, having this little banner. And I may just do this, but do it in a different way. You know, so it brought in the Bible verse. Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul. Um, but I'm not, I don't necessarily love, I wonder if I put some, um, thank you, Lee, some gold on these if I would love it more. Oh, I'm so glad. Tell me the truth. Were there uh, parts of this live where you were looking at me going, what is she doing now? This is crazy, Lindy. Because I've done a lot of those. <laughs> Did I pull it together? Y'all know when I got Flora out, Flora's behind my daisy right now, but when I was painting a styrofoam head, y'all uh, y'all told me, you, you thought I had lost it, and I thought I had lost y'all. I pulled her together. Sometimes I can. Where'd my other, there it is. I don't even know if this is going to make me love it. Oh, thank you, Phyllis. Oh, Lee, thank you. You had confidence in me, friend. Thanks, Tanya. And Cindy, too. Oh, so I added a little gold to it, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to think on that. Or I could just put my B up there. Wait a minute. I got to do this. Thank you. <laughs> Melissa, I can always count on you, can I? Thought I snipped too much glue. Let's just very carefully let me put my spectacles back on. How would it work if the signs were further apart and at an angle? So we're gonna find out. Let's see. I like it better that way. I'll tell you that much. But I do. I does that bring the whole project down a little bit? 
is what I just wonder. Or does it, uh, you only want to do at this point elements that are going to kind of elevate it. So you can do rub and buff on the stickles. I wonder if it's dry. How long does it take it to dry, Elizabeth? Oh, it's still very wet. Okay, kind of like puff paint. Thank you, Linda. Oh, Vicky, there you go. Around the little words. Oh, I might do that. Debbie, that's sweet. Okay, let me just try this one little. Come on out of there, there we go. And then let me just look at it. Thank you, Gail. That'll work, that'll work. Y'all bear with me a minute. What's that? Oh, something got in my stickles. Let me see if I can fish that out. Okay, we're gonna do that. So I, that was the wrong call to use the clear for this. So I'm just gonna try this and we're gonna see if this helps. And maybe what's bothering me is that y'all can't see it. You can see it in person, but I just wanna be sure it's evident what I, what I was going for. I'm going to do a few lines and then show it to you and see what you say. He's playing ball with Sarge up there. How am I doing on time? Oh, goodness, it's been an hour already. I thought I was just doing a lot better than that. I'm, I'm telling you, when you go live, the, the time goes by so fast. Okay, three. Yeah, I do like this a lot better. I do. Oh, I love this. You know, sometimes when you're you're crafting and you're or whatever your art of choice is, um, we get into our own things. You know, obviously. And when you start to, well, for instance, when you watch all the crafters that we watch and you like going and crafting with Lee or with Elizabeth or you watching Tanya, whoever, Moidle's Magic, Vintage, you know, it makes me, I'm going to speak for myself here, it makes me want to try all the things, you know, all the cool things. And, um... The day we did our group live and Elizabeth was showing what she does, because I didn't know till that day, and all these cool mediums, I just thought, okay, now that's something I've got to try. So little by little, you know, I'm just trying my hand at some fun things, fun new things. I swear I think that made my contact fog up. Okay, now can you kind of see it a little bit better? The 3D effect of the stickles? Oh, Melissa, you're so sweet. So, um, okay, now, now let me see. If I were to do that because I want to show y'all the bigger piece uh, B where'd that B fly off to I want to have time to show y'all the bigger piece and show you kind of what I want to to do with it mm. so what if I do this I love getting y'all's opinion careful because that's double layer wet Kind of like this and go around it with the gold and put the B, no, right up here. 
Well, Marsha, you saw how easy that was. I'm just cutting out papers and playing with them. Oh, that's a great idea, Benita. Fun, fun, fun. So do I do I put these little elements in there or do I leave it in alone? That gold really does pop now. Yes. Really does. I'm loving that for in between the little honeycomb. And I'll probably I may hit the honey words down there with a, a little bit more gold. I think so too, Yvonne. I'm not crazy about, I, I don't know why these, these are not making me totally happy. But I like the idea of including the um, scripture, but. Uh, this is, now that's not as bad. Sorry, y'all. I'm just kind of, oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to put the B on it. Let me just go on and do that because I know I'm going to put the B on it. I think that's it, Melissa. I think it's the, yeah, it, the brown just does not go with the rest of this. I think it needs to be. If I'm gonna do it, it needs to be on something different. So we're gonna set that aside, Penny, indefinitely. And we're gonna let our little bee uh, do the final touch on this. And then I'm gonna show you what I wanna do. I think so, Melissa, that's what I think I'll do. Just change. If I decide to include, or if something comes to me that I could write the scripture on, that's what I'll do. And you know, you could just add a, a hanger to this and call it done. I gotta remember, I've gotta do my, uh, my thumbnail. Doesn't that look cheesy? When Amanda does it, you don't even notice that's what she's doing. She's just so subtle about it and it's wonderful. And then she has this most beautiful thumbnail for her videos. <laughs> Can you see the honey word? I like, I like those stickers in that, um, it doesn't, the word honey is just like in the background, even though it's 3D. Um, oh, Lee, why didn't I think of that? I could letter it just right on here. I think I will. I think I'll probably do it right here in this empty space. That's probably what I'll do. So, I love it. I really do love this piece. Kathy, thank you for beautiful, beautiful designed papers. Uh, this rice paper worked beautifully. You know, I, I did it. Y'all saw me do it. Um, with a bigger piece on Elizabeth's birdhouse. And we've done it on a plate charger. And, um, basically like in a frame. Elizabeth shows you how she did it in a frame. So I wanted to try it in smaller mixed media elements and see how it worked. And I just love it. I really love it. I love that it it plays well with the vintage papers. Uh, Cause you know I love working with those. So you can use Kathy's papers like, for instance, this one, I'm gonna tell you right now, I probably will not cut up and I will use whole. That, I, I just, I love it. It's th This one um, ha has so many elements that are just my favorite. That soft pink, the B, there is a, um, anytime there's a, um, what are they called? Postage, you know, uh, oh goodness. This, postmark. I don't know why, but I'm crazy about postmarks. Um, that's what I'm gonna do, y'all. I am gonna, thank you, Kim. I've got you a link with a discount code. Um, yeah, you just framed that one. Um, and I really loved the idea um, Elizabeth had the other day. She said putting it on canvas, like just 
a canvas cloth. And then I thought, well, I would love to take that canvas cloth then and finish it out like Amanda did the other night with the wood pieces at the top and bottom so it's like a scroll. And um, it looks like plaster. You've got to watch her live. Go back and watch it on replay where she did it. It was a she had a bird nest on the canvas. <sighs> Loved it. But this, I think, I would. I want this in my bedroom somewhere. <laughs> I just love it. Write it in purple and highlight it in gold. That would be beautiful. <gasps> That's what I'm gonna do. That is what I'm going to do. Okay, now let me show y'all before I let you go because we're 10 minutes over what I like to... I don't like to keep y'all a whole lot over an hour. Like I said, I have... Um, I took a picture of it before I painted it so I can show you what this started out to look like. Um, so I've hit it with some white chalk paint. What I think I'm going to do is... This part back here will have some sort of mixed media background. And I'll probably go over that with little bits of white and like gold, just rubbing it on there. And then I'm going to do this honeycomb design. Same way, all in here. And I'll do the stickles definitely in between. Um, and... I started it, this is one of those Dollar Tree bees. So I'm gonna hit it with some wax, then hit it with some rub and buff. And I'm imagining this big bee over here. Are y'all with me? So I don't know what I'll do in this space and how I'll finish out the frame, but it's gonna be just a big mixed media uh, project and this bee is just gonna make it um, you know what else I thought of I don't know I've got these uh, and it may factor into this or it uh, you know I don't know I've got these great would you bend crowns that Elizabeth left here when she turned me on to would you bend would be really fun um, you know to paint that up in the um, Worn Penny in black mixed paint. Uh, hit the top of it with rub and buff and have that somewhere in it. Girl, you don't have to bring me a crown. Look, I got a crown. You left crowns. We got this crown and we've got this crown. So, mount what you may in the center. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> I hope so. I think that that'll be fun on this. That's not at all where I was going to go. Honestly, what I was going to do is I was going to paint the bee that I painted real little for that frame the other day that we redid. I was going to paint it big in here. Um, but I kind of like the idea of the honeycomb, the whole mixed media, big. You need a total... Oh, you're talking about I need a totally dazzled. Okay, I'm good with, I need to get me some Totally Dazzled. Um, what was I about to say on this one? Well, I lost my train of thought. I could put, no, I'm gonna do my handwriting. So you're talking about a, um, a Totally Dazzled crown to put actually on this bee? Nancy, if you're watching, either now or on replay, thank you for my sweet little bee that just made it. That, that's, that's what pulled it all together. You know how there's that one element. It's, it's looking good. You know, you're going along, it's looking good. But then you get that one element that just uh, makes you go, yeah. Yep, that's it. That's the finishing touch. Oh, Elizabeth. Okay. Where did I find this wood? This is a Dollar Tree bamboo cutting board. I had it in my stash. I bought two or three when I finally found them. This was a long time ago, and I just keep stuff like that in my stash. Um, I even almost got out an actual piece of our wood that we have and did it. 
let me tell you. Let me just tell you where your brain could go. But I'm going to do it. I, I'm going to make it easy. Because um, I got excited about this idea. Why couldn't you get... I've got this surface from... I bought it a year ago. We're already back around to almost welcome in summer. But why couldn't you do it on something like this that you can just get from the Dollar Tree? But have your honeycomb kind of climbing up the thing, you know, make it long and have a, grab you one of these while you're at the Dollar Tree and put that at the top or, you know, this could, this little piece could go, be done so many different ways. My brain has just gone crazy. Now, this one is way beautiful. This was my inspiration. Um, but I don't think I did too bad. So that's what got me thinking. That was on Pinterest. So I'm telling you, you see how they just use stamps and um, papers, and this is a 3D bird, a word down here at the bottom. Get on Pinterest, and what I do is as I'm scrolling, if I feel a, <gasps> I think, okay, that's worth sitting here and staring at for a minute. What could you do? You know, how could you do that, Lindy? And um, I immediately thought of Kathy's papers, and they had done what I did and put a few vintage elements in it. Uh, they went along uh, birds and bees, and it said, a bird doesn't sing because it has an answer, it sings because it has a song, and then it had sing. So that was her uh, theme for this piece. But I kind of wanted to just keep it with the bee, I knew I had a lot of B. Um, oh, y'all think mine's better. Y'all are just saying that because you're sweet to me. But I just looked at this. And so, honestly, let me. this is where my brain went. It looks like there's just, um, it's. you can tell it's 3D between the different, uh, what are they called, honeycombs? Is that what it's called, the little pieces? And it doesn't go all the way out, but then they just did what looks like rub and buff over the top of that. So my brain at first went to, well, I could get some Dollar Tree spackle, but I want it to be formed perfectly like a honeycomb. Um, so I thought, well, could I, I could pipe it on, but I've got to thin out the spackle a little bit and then it's got to dry overnight and blah, blah, blah. And so... The stickle that I remembered Elizabeth uses um, ended up being perfect, and you can do it just like a pen, and it's it comes out perfectly. Lori, you're sweet. Thank you. They're called cells. That makes a lot yes, of sense. Thank you, Emily. Y'all are so sweet and generous with your compliments. But all I'm going to do is take purple paint with a gold highlight and um, do handwrite the scripture, and instead of printing it, I'm going to do it in a pretty script so it, it fits the whole theme. And uh, I'm going to take a picture and I'll post it probably be tomorrow. Used glue and just put the rub and buff over it. You know, I would have I thought that, but it almost has a... It's very white. I, I, um, maybe they did. And they might have just, you know, put some cream paint over that when it dried and then rub and buffed it. I don't know. Um, Teresa, I don't, I didn't have to search anything, honestly. Um, my, I go to Pinterest so much for so many different things that my home feed is always stuff that I enjoy. And usually if you'll click on one that you enjoy, you'll see a lot of similar things, pins down below it. And I can go down such a rabbit hole that way. Um, so I think what it was is there was one piece I saw that really spoke to me. And again, I think I was looking up stuff for art journaling, you know. And But you could look up mixed media. And I clicked on that, and this happened to be one of the ones underneath. And I knew I, that one spoke to my heart, so that was what it was going to be. Thank you all so much. Thanks for spending time with me. Um, I don't, I know Amanda's going to be live at seven tonight. Um, 
So be sure to catch her, Amanda Maid. If anybody else, you know, anybody, any other creatives that are on here, please, please drop your links. Absolutely. The paint after it dries. A lot of times they use hot glue. Oh, yeah, maybe hot glue. Um, does the hot glue, when it dries, does it dry clear or? I'm so stupid, I'm trying to think. Doesn't it dry clear? Do it, Lee, I wish you would. I wish you would. You gotta, you gotta get through tomorrow and uh, get to feeling better and get back to crafting. We got, we got crafting to do, girlfriend. So y'all, if you, if you do something similar, if you do anything, I don't care. Whatever you make, I want to see what you make. Be sure you're a member over at Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs and share what you, um, what you've made. I want to see it. That's why I'm, I'm so enjoying watching y'all do your ducklings, and they're all so good. So that makes me happy. So it does draw a little milky. They may have done that. That may be what they did and then just went over it with rub and buff. Yes, everybody. Oh, good, Debbie. Thank you. Yes, Crafting and Grace. Um, some look a hint of yellow. And I know Lee even had. Now, if you wanted to go so far as get that automotive... Um, those automotive glue sticks that Lee used as honey, that would be adorable. And then you could even drip it, you know, just drip it down the bottom with your hot glue gun. Yeah, everybody remember Lee tomorrow, especially at two o'clock, her surgery is tomorrow at two. Liquid gold, yeah, d absolutely. Um, okay, all right, I'm gonna get off of here and let y'all have the rest of your beautiful Sunday. I hope your weather is as gorgeous as ours is because I'm just gonna sit out here. Don't tell anybody, but I might just get on my deck after a while and have a little glass of wine. I might. I don't know. Anyway, go make one, Lee. I want to see it. Send it to me. Okay, I love y'all to bits and pieces. I promise you that. I will see you Tuesday at 4 Central if you'll come back and join me. Bye, y'all.